The New Rochelle community coping with a tragedy following the death of a high school junior. The superintendent sent this letter to the district Tuesday morning, saying in part, quote, our hearts go out to the family and friends of the student and confirming a teen girl took her own life. So how do we as a community, as families, as schools, uh, really come together to help kids feel safe and a sense of connectiveness. Michael Orth is the commissioner of Westchester's mental health department. His team works closely with people who have mental illnesses such as depression or individuals impacted by societal conditions. While we don't know why the student committed suicide, or says knowing the signs and symptoms can prevent it. Young people who tend to be active and all suddenly start isolating themselves, uh, stop doing the things that are enjoyable for them, whether it's sports or theater, um, also engage in risky behavior. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the suicide rate is rising, killing 45,000 Americans each year. Mental health experts say you shouldn't be ashamed if you are depressed or having suicidal thoughts. Or whether you're a family member, a friend, or a teacher, is really to engage that young person as soon as possible, to check in with them, to see how they're doing, and if needed, to, to kind of support them in getting the help with a professional. And at New Rochelle High School, counselors are available to help students here who are mourning the loss of their classmate and friend. In New Rochelle, Rebecca Solomon, News 12.